So I got your questions on Reddit, and needless to say, there were a mere 8.6 trillion billion, so I will do my best to unpack them like luggage. As many of you know, I am a neuroscientist with a PhD in everything, and though I wouldn't say I am the smartest man to ever live, I could comfortably state that I am chased out of bed every morning with the even-handed knowledge that I am certainly the smartest person alive today. Now, to be fair to Hitch, for those of you who don't know, that's my hip way of saying Christopher Hitchens, because contrary to popular belief, I am hip. I am not a square. I've smoked a number of marijuana cigarettes in my youth while in an ashram in Tibet. If Hitch wasn't so lazy for being dead and he was alive today in a debate, I would probably slap him in the face with my intellectual cock that is so big that even I don't have a word for it. Now, without further preamble, let me answer Reddit's first question. Sam, what is the answer to the debate on abortion? Now, being an expert on almost everything minus dark matter, I've consolidated this to the tip of the iceberg. The debate on abortion isn't fundamentally there. It's fundamentally a software glitch of the human mind, and I'd like to unpack it. Can we morally or supercalifragilistically abort? Well, consider this in purely game theoretic way. I am a woman. I have a baby. I'd like to not have a baby. Can said baby register fear, we might ask. Now, how do we test this scientifically? Perhaps we go test this along theoretic lines. Imagine I hold a gun to a baby's head, and if said baby knows it's a gun, you cannot abort. If said baby does not realize I'm holding a gun to his or her face, maybe he or she tries to put their mouth around the bullet chamber like it's a nipple, at this stage of life, it is supercalifragilistically safe to say you can hit the baby in the back of the head with a shovel. Now, some of you might disagree with this. You might say it's incisive, predicated, falsified, philosophical, implicational, rattling around my echo chamberish, confirmation bias argument implemented ostensibly in a confabulatory nature, but that would be stupid. You are confused about who and what you are. 